Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Beliefs of Islam. The argument from reason. One of the distinguishing factors which distinguish theism from its counter worldview, namely atheism, is that explanatory power which the former has over the latter in explaining our current reality. Many atheists mistakenly make idiotic claims such as all atheism means is that I disbelieve in a god, whilst is the root of atheism, it's not merely their sole belief. Atheism entails much more than just that, a lack of inexplanation for actual objective morality, for example, an inability to explain how the universe came into existence, for example, and more importantly, an inability to explain one of the greatest phenomena within the universe itself, a human reason itself. We humans are clearly a cut above our compatriots in the animal world for several reasons. We speak numerous constructed languages, for example, and have the ability not only to think about the daily lives, but more importantly, learn subjects such as mathematics, science, in addition to uh, masterfully writing beautiful works like poetry, something which is the animal world is clearly void of. Yet upon the atheist worldview, there exists very little reason to understand any of that. In fact, we have good reason upon the atheist worldview to trust human reasoning and sophistication. Consider this fact, we as human beings are merely an advanced evolved animal according to the atheistic worldview and hence we are merely a product of the need to survive and adapt to our surroundings. We also purely compost of matter. Upon this view, it is very clear that abilities such as the ability to rationalize and philosophize are not particularly useful. What do I mean by this? I mean that in order to prolong our existence as a species, in order to acquire food and satiate our needs, things like philosophy and science are not particularly important and hence could not possibly be viewed as advantageous upon a view of a blind random evolution or survival of the fittest. In fact, upon the view of atheism, since we are products of a blind chance designed and evolved purely in order to survive, we have no reason to trust any intellectual decisions or philosophical decisions we make. Because our minds are designed or here for that purpose, but rather solely the purpose of surviving in a rough world, something which neither philosophy nor science aid. There is a reason why animals don't carry out scientific tests or engaged in meta-ethics, discuss purpose or reason. They aren't meant to. They are meant to seek food and try to survive much like human beings uh, upon the view of a blind evolution and atheists. Our argument from reason thus goes as follows. Number one, atheists claim that they have arrived intellectually at the conclusion that atheistic naturalist materialism is true. Number two, upon atheistic naturalist materialism, we have no good reason to trust our intellectual judgment, as our mind is merely a product of evolved needs, merely there to help us to survive and acquire food and mate, not to conduct hard intellectual disciplines or rationalize. Number three, any worldview which refutes itself or denies the role of the human reason cannot be taken seriously as a rational decision, nor can it be rationally justified as it itself rejects the trustworthiness of rationality. Number four, therefore, materialistic, naturalistic atheism cannot be taken seriously and refutes itself as an intellectual conclusion. So either we trust that we human beings have good reason to believe our intellects and reject atheism, or we go with atheism and submit that human intellects rationally, science have no veiled explanation and we have no good reason 
to trust our minds. Upon the Muslim worldview, the human intellect is championed and according to the narrations of Imam Ali, peace upon him, and the holy Imams, it is the very first thing that Allah created. It is the inner prophet of mankind which guides towards truth when is used in conjunction with revelation. Thank you very much for watching. Fi amanillah.